Hey everybody, Saint Enix back for another video. We're gonna, oops, we're gonna show you a couple things. We're gonna show you guys some console commands, some ones that work, work well, and work very easily. So first thing you're gonna want to do <clears throat> is open up your console by hitting the tilde key. It's between tab and escape over on the left corner of your keyboard, right by the one, right over there. I've already done some of these and had some problems. I recorded a video and screwed it all up. But I want to show you guys a couple of the ones that I did. And the first one is this player.modav experience 1000. Spaces are very important. The dot is very important. It has to look exactly like this. Watch what happens when I hit enter. <gasps> Wow, look at that. Free experience. Okay, now I already did this other one. Set intelligence, or the set intelligence to 10. It's uh, player.setAV intelligence 10, but uh, I already did it. And I will show you. Where's my stats? Oh, special. There we go. See, Intelligence 10. So, as you can see, I'm not going to do it again. Although, I could I could do this. See, set Intelligence to 1. Now, I'll go back. Set set A V intelligence ten. Now it's back to ten. Woohoo! Okay. So now that you've got the experience and the stat ones down, I think that's good. Get I don't I'm not gonna try to make a video where I list all the different perks. Ouch. Hey, I didn't... Damn it. Oh, are you freaking serious? Just die. It just lags pretty hard. Alright. Sorry, I'm, I'm a pack rat. I have to pick up this stuff real quick, guys. And I'll show you why I can pick up all this stuff here in just a moment. It's because of the 4,000 carry weight. And what you do is you type in player.modav. Uh, set AV is for setting a, uh, a number, a variable, to that number. Okay, modding is adding to that number. So if you type mod AV, it'll add. So mod AV carry weight 500. Now watch in between, right above that 10 pines there. 4,500? No way. It happened, it happened instantly. Okay, so now we're going to go somewhere cool. Spoiler alert. End the video now if you don't want to see some shit you don't want to see. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. We're going anyway. It's on you. You got a pause button. Oh, God. Oh, no. I think that moldy food is turning on me. Dance. I can't feel my feet. And my eyeballs are squishy. Okay. Here is the developer room. All the power armors. This is the, all the ones they put in here. I didn't take any of these. So if you run out or you get one stolen by a raider like I did and you want to replace it because you feel like it was unfair because you didn't know they could steal it from you, then you can come here and grab one of these. And you can even just grab this. The straight power armor, nothing but the suit itself without any of the armor on it. Just the harness, basically. Um, you've got all the crafting work benches, all the different types here. All the stuff you can use. Also, every item. All miscellaneous components, including all the bobbleheads. Um, the consumables. 
including the Vault 81 cure, so you can still give it to Austin and come here and get one if you think that that's a fucking just stupid that they can't replicate it in a freaking vault. And uh, all the scrap, I took all the scrap. Actually, I left some of the scrap over here. Left the wood, the asbestos, the steel, the lead, and the concrete over here, because it was heavy. And that's why I had to add a thousand <laughs> for carry weight. All the holotape games, this is nothing. Test terminal is nothing. Um, holotapes, and then all the books, all the weapons, and all the armor. All the armor pieces, including, see, the MK6 helmet, or, yeah, XL1 MK6 helmet. T60 Raider Power Helmet, all that, I mean, all of it. Railroad Armored Coat Mark III, like all kinds of stuff. So it's all here. Um, okay, and the problem, though, that you run into when you get here is, of course, you're not going to be able to carry all this stuff back. So that's why I showed you guys the Carry Weight mod. Player.modav, Carry Weight 500. Um, also, you can't. Oops, you can't fast travel. There's, you can't, you can't leave. You cannot fast travel from this location. It's outside of the world. It's cause somewhere completely unrelated. It's not connected in any way, shape, or form to the actual game world. It's somewhere you can only get to with that console command. So you have to use another console command to get out. And the easiest one I've found that doesn't give me problems and it just works is 10 pines. So I just go COC, 10 pines bluff, no spaces. And ta da! You can even go there, grab a suit of power armor, grab a bunch of pieces of other power armors, and then jump back to 10 pines and then from here you can go back into your map and fast travel but that's just the one I if you can test other ones and get other ones you like or want to use more to work that's fine it's just the one I found to work and it's not very far from the base and it's a fairly safe area so I never have to worry about getting ambushed when I fast travel in unless it's by like a raider or two and that's no big deal So there you have it, folks. St. Inix once again coming to you from the Minuteman Recruiting Station at the Red Rocket Gas Station just south of Sanctuary. Got all our powered armor sets in there. Oop. No, I did not. Oh, I hate it when it does that. You can't, like, do the go... You can't look at yourself inside your area because it'll take the center mouse click as trying to activate that but yep so stay tuned for more take it easy everybody it's been St. Enix remember to smash that like button hit it just don't break your monitor <laughs>